Hey guys, it's Lee with the Turquoise Valentine and we are going to craft some stuff up with these pumpkins. I know y'all have some of these because they have them in abundance at the Dollar Tree. Hey, hey guys. Um, so I know that y'all have these because everybody buys them every year. And let me kind of get this off here off the screen. They have changed stuff up again on Facebook. Hey there, hey everybody. Well, they have changed up the live stuff on Facebook. It's all weird now, because it tells me all kinds of stuff at the bottom. <laughs> Just when you get used to something, they change it, but that's okay. All right, so I know that y'all have these, right? Every crafter goes to the Dollar Tree, and we have to have these every year. I don't know why we have so many. I have some from last year. I have some for this year. Cause I'm thinking, well, what if I find something to do with them and I don't have enough? So if y'all have a lot of these like I do, hey guys, hey Gail, hey everybody. Okay. So anywho, thank you for sprinkling gone. Um, we are gonna make something with these cause I had a, uh, somebody message me and say, hey, are you gonna do anything with those? Um, uh, dollar the Dollar Tree pumpkins and I was like well actually I have one planned but um, I know that <laughs> if you're like me I, this is just some of them I'll, this is only four of them that I have I actually have a lot more but because um, I'm all hey Carol I'm always worried that you know I might find something I need to do with them and I don't have enough so anyway so we're not gonna use all of these we're only gonna use two so let me see I got a um, put these all over here. I just thought it'd be funny to have them all out when y'all came on and there they all would be. So, cause if you're like me, you have a whole stash of them probably. So that, yes, they have changed the live stuff with the comments at the bottom and I don't know, it's weird. So I'm having to look at it and get used to it for a minute. So I hope y'all had a good week. Um, I miss y'all Monday night. And, uh, cause my son had a football game. He's only got three more on Monday nights. So Monday nights we'll have to wait till that's over with. Um, thank y'all for sprinkling. Okay. So we're going to make, and I've already started one because I'm going to paint them. And I've already started one because I wanted to, um, kind of get a head start. So y'all wouldn't sit here and watch me paint pumpkins. So, um, so we're going to do that, but we're going to make a, a jack-o'-lantern little happy, happy jack-o'-lantern a uh, little topiary thing with them. Um, hey, Emily. Um, yes, everybody's got all of these, right? I got a whole bunch. <laughs> so anyway, you have a few. Yes, you, gotta, you just go and you just pick up some just because, just because. Every year, you just gotta get some just because. Okay, so we're gonna, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. So the first one I've already painted and I painted this one in black, uh, the Waverly ink. I had it upside down because I'm almost out, but the ink, and I did go to Walmart today and they had some colors out that I did not need. So I, they're starting to put it back out, guys. So keep a lookout for the Waverly paint. So I was excited to see it, but I didn't need those colors. Um, hey, Colin. Okay, so I've already painted this guy. You see the bottom's orange. <laughs> I didn't paint the bottom. I was kind of in a hurry because I wanted to get it prepped a little bit first, okay? So I'm gonna, we're gonna start painting this one. We're gonna paint him orange. I'm just gonna dull this down a little bit. I don't want him to be so neon in your face orange. So I'm gonna take off this little stem, but we're not gonna throw the stem away because I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with it. Um, I can get it off without tearing it up and I just did just that. There we go. Whew, that hurt my ears, but it's in there with a little toothpick. If you haven't ever pulled them out, that's exactly what that is, is a toothpick in there. But we're going to save this because we're going to do something with this little thing, okay? we got to save that. So I'm just going to start painting, and we can chat and paint. But I've got the black one. You're just now doing that. Thanks for the stars. Okay. We not have a dollar store. Oh, I'm sorry, Barbara. Dollar Tree is awesome. So I'm just going to use, um, this is actually called Pumpkin. <laughs> And it's, it's a little bit of a dulled down orange. It's real pretty, but it's Waverly Pumpkin. You can use acrylic paint, because I have I have made this craft, um, and um, I did mine with acrylic paint. It was before I got turned on to the Waverly paint, but can you see the difference? 
That's the paint, and then how bright orange the pumpkin is. Thank you, Crystal, for the stars. Um, Shoals, Alabama, Muscle Shoals from the Shoals, Alabama. I hope your weather's okay down there. Y'all had it kind of rough. Still doesn't have Waverly. Well, just hang on because I think, you know, everybody's starting to slowly start to see it roll out. So hopefully we're going to get it back because, you know, it was rumored that they were going to quit making it. And it's like, no, don't do that. I don't see how because everybody in America is um, buying it to craft with because it's awesome paint. So, hey, Donna from California. Hey, Elizabeth. Thank you, Elizabeth. You're so sweet. Okay, so I'm just painting this. And these, these take the paint really well, chalk paint and the, and the acrylic paint because, like I said, I painted mine last year that I did... Um, and it, it took it real well. Oh, Darlene, I'm glad you're excited. Yes, I'm going to show y'all tonight what I'm going to be rolling out tomorrow uh, while these are drying, once I get them painted. Um, so I, am, I have been cutting and cutting and cutting for two and a half days, I think. Um, Starable. Oh, awesome. Starable's not far from me at all. Let's see. Oh, thank you, Alexis. You're telling about the Waverly paint at Walmart. Yes, it's awesome. Although Alexis has got me wanting to go to Sherwin-Williams and get paint. She has some beautiful colors. Yeah, see, it tones it down. Because this is what color they start out. Like this bright, in-your-face orange. And this is more of an actual pumpkin color. It's a little toned down. Because pumpkins aren't really just bright, bright orange. They're more of a of a dulled down orange color. Burnt orange, maybe. I don't like how they, at the bottom of the screen, it just tells you so-and-so and so-and-so and, so and, so and seven other people are watching. And it's just constantly going up the screen. Thank you, Lenora, for the stars. Okay. So I know everybody's got these, so y'all can make these. Look, I'm a messy, messy painter, I'm telling you. I don't know how to be any other way. It's just, it's, it gets everywhere. I probably have black on my elbow from painting that pumpkin while I go with the black. Yeah, the tags, I'm going to re be reloading the tags and the fall tear tray set and um, my Halloween set. I'm going to be... Uh, restocking those tomorrow night. I was going to start giving y'all a um, a heads up instead of just, you know, me telling you an hour beforehand so everybody would have a good shot. But I have been in this room for two and a half days cutting and cutting and cutting now that that's my full-time job. This is my office. Welcome to my office. <laughs> and I love it because I get to I get to craft all day. Well, not really craft, but I'm making stuff all day. Oh, wow. <laughs> There's a bunch of people on here. Thank y'all for watching. And if you like what you see and you want to follow me, just tap my face on the screen and hit those three little dots. And it will say you can be notified when I go live. And um, that then you can be, it'll be, it'll let you know when I go live and you won't miss anything. But the, but the notifications I know have been kind of wonky lately, I think, is what a lot of people are saying. So... The Sherwin Williams paint is cheaper. It is, it, and it's like what five dollars and something for that big. Is it like half a quart or a couple of pints of paint? But that's a lot of paint, and just crafting with that would go a long way. But gosh, I just um, hey Susan, um, <laughs> what a beautiful office I have. I know, right? It's awesome. Okay, so um, thanks to all of you, and thank you, Rhonda, for the stars. Y'all are sweet. Okay, so I also have this little baby pumpkin, and he actually is from Walmart. He was only 98 cents. They have all these pumpkins out because I wanted one a little different shape because we're going to stack these, but we're going to do it with a little twist, okay? But let me get him painted. I wonder if his stem will come out. And then I'll show y'all the Halloween stuff while it's drying. And his stem, I'm scared to take it out because I'm scared it's going to make a big hole. Um, so this is going to be, um, this is the maize color. 
So I got black, orange, and then maize. So I don't um I don't do typically do like Halloween stuff. I don't like all the I guess the scary stuff. I just like the happy, smiling, funny little face jack-o'-lanterns. And so I don't do um so I yes, I'm doing a Halloween tier tray thing, but it's not scary. It's just kind of the happy, funny, whimsical um Halloween kind of thing. It's not necessarily you know, the spooky, scary witches and all that stuff. So I don't do any of that. So this one's going to take a couple of coats, but the Dollar Tree one's covered really well. Of course, orange on orange, and then the black one, of course, black covers really well. That's why I went ahead and did that first, because I knew it was going to take me a while, because this one would take two coats. Hey, Cindy. Oh, you did get notifications this time. Cool, because a lot of people are saying that they're kind of messed up right now and they don't get the notification and et cetera, et cetera. So I don't know what's going on. It's because of COVID, like everything else. It's because of COVID. Where did the small, it came from a Walmart. But I know Dollar Tree has them. I was just in Walmart and happened to um, be in Walmart and... I needed some things and I ran in there and I needed one this size. Believe it or not, I didn't have one. <laughs> and so I just grabbed it while I was in there. But the Dollar Tree has a variety of different sizes. So I'm sure that um, you can probably grab one if you don't already have one. But how, look how pretty that color is. It's such a pretty color. It's maize. Yeah, I don't like that part either. Um, I just do the... the um, you know, our kids are too old to trick or treat and all that stuff. And, but we just, I don't like the scary stuff. I don't like the ghosts. I mean, I like ghosts, funny ghosts, but not witches and all the, the, um, all the scary stuff. I don't like all that. I like the cute smiling jack-o'-lanterns and that's what we're doing. Okay. So there he is. And I'm going to set him over here and let him dry. And I need to turn on my fan where they can dry because I can't do it with my heat gun because we'll melt <laughs> melt the styrofoam with that heat gun. Just It'll just turn into a ball of goo. Okay, I'm trying to get them close together so they can get in the fan. Okay, so while that's drying, I'll paint my little stem in a minute. Oh, it came on after I was already live? Yeah, sometimes it's, it's just been acting weird. I don't know if they're having trouble or what. Okay, so y'all ready for this Halloween stuff? This is so cute, y'all. It's so stinking cute. Okay, so I'm going to start small and show y'all small first. So there's one piece. It's a candy corn, and you actually get three, let me find them, three candy corns. Isn't that cute? And it is cut from a quarter inch birch plywood. So it's 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 not going anywhere. It's It'll, it'll stand the test of time, I promise, because it's wood. Hey, Erica. So there you get three candy corns. Um, you get three pieces of candy, and of course it comes blank, okay? So it comes just like this, and then you paint it however you choose, okay? So, um, so there's the three pieces of candy, and that's how I painted them. I like the purple and the orange and the green together. I just think that's the cutest. Okay, first cute part, you get a ghost, and he is actually, you know, his own separate piece. And then the word boo, and that's how I painted it. <laughs> you get that piece, and you know, all these little pieces are separate, and you have to glue it on because it comes blank. And there's orange paint on the back. It comes blank, and then you have to paint it like this, or however you choose. And then um, this is just how I decorated mine. So this is, y'all are going to freak out over these beads, but... This is, the other piece you get is the tag, and it has a cute little bat on it. And he just so cute with his little face. And then I did my beads this way. Of course, the beads don't come with it, and the tassel doesn't come with it. But I just did um, buffalo check, and orange, and green, and yellow yarn, and just a whole bunch of little rickrack and stuff in there, and made this little cute little beads. I painted them with, a, you know, with acrylic paint, and um, they're just fine. It did just fine. So, um, 
Susanna, it's going great. I love my retirement. <laughs> so, um, so then that's the tag. And then I'm saving the best part for last. Here's the little house, little haunted house. Um, and it comes blank. And then the windows, you could do this two ways. The way I did it was I took just regular copy paper and I painted it yellow, okay? And then I just cut it out and I taped it on the back to where it would show, you know, just show through the windows like this, okay? So when you see the next piece, you can do the same thing to it that, to, that you, you can do the same thing to this that I did to the other piece if you choose to. So this is my next, the favorite. And I showed him in the picture, but, um, but he has a surprise element. So let me show you this. If you can see the surprise element, he actually lights up. But now the lights don't come with him. You just get the wood pieces. Um, but I do give you the little spacers to go in between there. So if you wanted to and you didn't want him to light up, you could light the house up the same way. Um, you could have two pumpkins. And I'm actually giving you the pieces that come out of these holes. I'm giving you the whole piece. So you could put it on the other pumpkin and have two pumpkins. Um, but how I did this, and I'm going to show you how I did it real quick. And I'll send you the Velcro in case you want to do this. So I'm going to show you the inside. So the inside has these little pieces of wood that I'm, I'll send with it. And they're like little spacers. And, that, and I just took the same paper, the paper I painted yellow, and then taped it where all the little holes in the pumpkin were. And then I stuck Velcro on those little post things. And I put Velcro on this side. And I just made it to where if the lights burn out, you know, I was going to glue it shut. And when, so when the, lights, when the lights burn out, you can always just change them. But you can buy these little battery operated lights at Dollar Tree. I know Walmart has them. Um, and I just Velcroed them on too. So I could just take it off and, and do whatever. But if you wanted to take the little pieces that are cut out of his eyes and mouth and just paint this and then paint another one and put those pieces on, you could do that too and you would have two pumpkins. So it's just, you know, it's whatever you want to do. Um, yes, I love the Garland too, Cheryl. It's my favorite. But wait till you see this. So, I don't know. All of it's my favorite because I just love all the colors. But this is too stinking cute right here. It's the little um, the little garland that you can hang on your tear tray around the, you know, around the, the rim of the tray, actually. But these little letters are on there separate, so they're separate, too. And you, you paint them and you can glue them on however you choose. On the little candy corns. I love candy corn. <laughs> Some people, either, either you like candy corn or you hate it. And I love candy corn. Um, but like I said, it comes blank just like this and it does have little lines scored in it where the colors separate. You just don't see it on that side. Um, and then you just paint it and I actually threaded mine with, um, some Baker's twine that came from Dollar Tree and I just put the orange and the green strings together and cause I wanted it all to match and that's my little candy corn, a uh, little spooky thing. So you get this piece and you get the pumpkin and like I said the lights don't come with it but it's just an option if you wanted to do that but isn't it so cute and then you could do the house the same way you could just put the lights you know string them all on the back and then just stick your battery pack to the bottom and the house would light up too if you wanted to I only had one set of lights or I would have done that and then you get the bat and the tag and then you get the boo with the little cute ghost. See, I just like the whimsical. I don't like all the dark and dreary. I like the real cutesy kind of stuff. And then um, the little candies just to throw around your tray or wherever. And then you get the candy corn. I got to have some candy corn. <laughs> Y'all probably laugh at how I say candy corn. Yes, um, Sheila, peanuts, candy corn, and then put M&Ms in it too. And it's really good. <laughs> Gotta have some chocolate. It's wonderful. But yes, the peanuts in the, in the candy corn is awesome. 
Okay, so I hope y'all like that. But I'm going to put them up on my site um, tomorrow evening sometime because I want to kind of give everybody a heads up or, you know, what's... Um, so it kind of gives everybody a fair shot because... But I will cut more. It's just I've been cutting for two or three days and I have a whole bunch and I'm ready to throw it up there so y'all can get it and paint it and have it out by October. Um, but now I'm just going to start working on Christmas. So um, I'm just, I got so much going on in my head about what I want to do for Christmas. And um, I just, it's so much, there's just not enough time in the day. Even with me not working, it's still not enough time in the day. So I'm painting another coat on this pumpkin. Yes, I've been busy. Miss Lil have been so busy. Um, I had a lady over here today and she, I was saying, yeah, I guess everybody thinks I'm sashaying around in my, my PJs drinking my coffee and, and not doing anything. And she was like, girl, you are so busy. I was like, I know. <laughs> I got two glow forges going at once and you know, about the time I get sat down, they go off and I had to go over there and change everything out again. And, um, Stacy, I can, I can cut some. I've had a couple of people ask me about the, the welcome sign. Um, and I can, I can cut some. I just, I was trying to, I didn't know if everybody was kind of like, well, we're moving on from fall and, you know, everybody kind of had their feel of it. I didn't cut them this past time, but I can cut some. I'm just putting another coat on this guy because he did not want to, um, he didn't want to take the, take the paint real well. That orange was still wanting to shine through. <laughs> you will be getting these. You're so funny. I'm glad y'all like it because I loved it. I just, and I also designed all of that too myself. So, I'm kind of proud of it. Um, you know, some files I can buy from someone else that's already been made, the files that I use to cut. But um, here lately, I've been trying to design my own. So it's kind of one of a kind and um, yeah, probably no time to miss work. I do miss my coworkers now, I do miss them. But I, I have two coworkers here at my house and they're my dogs. And so, um, they lay on the couch and sleep all day, but they're my co-workers, I guess. Um, I tried to get them to come in here and lay on the floor in here and made them a little bed and everything. No, nope, they won't come in here and stay with me. They want to get on the comfy couch and sleep all day. I think they're cats, actually. Because they sleep all day long. All right, he's over here drying. So now we got to fix our little. So we're going to go back to this, okay? This is what. Oh, thank y'all for the stars. Um, so here's our, our orange. My paper's flying off. I got it sitting on paper, so I'm going to get my table on this. Decor for a tray, please. Apple decor. Oh, apples. Okay, I didn't see the apple at first. That's, that'd be cute, yes. Um, yeah, put the dogs to work. <laughs> Fat chance of that happening. They're sleeping like cats. Okay, so it covered pretty well. I could do another coat and it would tone it down a little more because I can still see that bright orange sticking through there, but it's, it's fine for me. So we're gonna put the, let me show you the twist that we're gonna do. We're not just gonna stack them like normal, okay? So here's my black one. We're gonna turn this one this way, okay? And we're going to make them into like a little tower and the little one's going to sit on top but i'm going to paint a face on them and this is going to be his nose in the middle so it's going to be a little whimsical thing oh wow good that's good bobby you didn't have any bleeding that's uh i always when i stencil i always get bleeding so i'm going to paint his little nose um i debated um, about putting, take it, y'all, I just splattered, like, brown paint on my face. <laughs> this is real life crafting, guys. I just sprinkled, uh, I just shut the top on that burnt umber, and it went all over me. Probably got it on my face. 
I don't see any, but if y'all see any on my face, it just is what, oh, see, there it is, right there. I knew it went on my face. <laughs> oh, it went everywhere, spit on me. Oh, Sheila, I bet they do look good. So, I debated on using this for his nose, okay, but I was asking my husband earlier, I'm like, you think I should use that? And he's like, well, yeah, you could cut a hole in it, and you could do all that, and I was like, well, because these are hollow, so if you, um, if you, like, cut a hole in it, it's open inside of that pumpkin, so I don't know if y'all have ever cut one open before, but it's open, it's supposed to be carvable pumpkin, is what they, they call them. So I debated on that, about putting the stem in a hole, and then I thought, well, what if it falls over into the inside? Because we are going to use, hey, Debbie, we are going to use uh, a little hot glue to try to hold these together. I know it'll melt styrofoam, but we're going to use some other stuff to help it hold together. But it's definitely not something that you're going to want to, you know, kids to be carrying around the house or anything because it's, uh, it's going to be kind of a little delicate. So, okay, I got the little, see, it's still a little green, so I'm going to have to let it, um, I'm going to have to let it, um, uh, dry and paint another coat. But I can't stand it up. How am I going to stand this little thing up? Let me lean it against something. Okay. Thank y'all for sprinkling. I gotta have some water. Use Mod Podge before you stencil. Yes, Elaine, I have heard that too, and I've never, I hadn't tried that. So when you lift up your stencil, after you put the Mod Podge down, it's not stuck to the board. That's what I was wondering. Yes, Ginger, I gotta go to Big Lots because I, I have seen some stuff people have had. But y'all went to Cracker Barrel Monday. My husband and I, he's off on Mondays, and we went to get wood at Home Depot. Well, there's a um, Cracker Barrel right there. So we had corporate breakfast at Cracker Barrel. And, of course, you know, you can shop and you can eat. I mean, it's just the best ever. Um, no angry faces. Who's making angry faces? Maybe it's an accident. Are you using five below brushes tonight? Um, I have some out here, Bobby, but I, ha I haven't used them yet. I promise, Bobby, I have looked for you some, and they have been out at my Five Below. I've been to two Five Belows, actually, and they don't have them. What was the little green thing, Lori? It was the, it's the little stem that goes in the pumpkin like that. That's how it comes. And I just took it out. It's on a little toothpick, and I painted it brown, and he's over there drying. Oh, thank you, Karen. I hope you follow and, um, and come back. There's a lot of a lot of sweet, sweet people on here, and I have the best followers. Okay, so here he is, and I painted his stem, hoping he's going to dry so I can fix him. But I'm going to try to paint his face now. Um, and I'm kind of cheating because I have the one that I've already made from last year. I went in the attic and dug it out, and it's over here. And I'm kind of, if you see me looking over here, it's because it's on the corner of my table. And I'm looking at it. So I'll know exactly how to paint, um, paint his face. Cause like I said, I did this last year for myself cause I saw it somewhere. Yeah, you can get in trouble at Cracker Barrel shopping. Yes, real quick. I posted pictures of all the pretty stuff they had. Um, so, um, but I'm kind of cheating over here. I make a leopard print Christmas tree. That's cute. I did, I did buy something at Walmart today. I bought some leopard print duct tape. And we had to cover one of these with leopard print duct tape. Would that not be awesome? I was like, that's a no-brainer. That's so easy. You just need to put some duct tape on here and you're done. Okay, so I'm going to draw his little eyes. I'm looking at my other one over here so I can kind of... So I'm kind of cheating because I'm not going to do just the regular little faces. And I'll show you my old one when I get done. Okay, so all I did for this one is I just did like a little, a little pronounced eyebrow, but that's his eye. <laughs> it's what it looks like. Oh, is somebody being rude? Oh, so I guess you don't like me talking. It's okay. You can watch the replay and you can, um, 
Just move on and watch the replay if you want to. Then you can fast forward and watch the end. I just like to talk to my friends. These are all my friends, and I like to talk to them. So I'm sorry if you're offended by that. Come and Kirsty. Are you gonna make any? Yes, uh, Rhonda. I'll be putting those out. Um, I'll be putting them out tomorrow night, and I'll post a time of what time I'm gonna list them. It'll be tomorrow evening. But I'm going to go live with y'all tomorrow evening again. So y'all are going to get me again tomorrow night. Um, because Friday night, I've got to take my son um, to, to his dad's. So um, he's going to go see his dad. His dad works overseas. So he hasn't been home in a while. So i got to meet him and take him there on Friday. So um, I will, will be out of pocket on Friday evening driving. Does have to drive two hours one way so he can see his dad and so y'all will get me tomorrow night too if that's okay <laughs> I like talking to y'all too I'm sorry if somebody doesn't like it but this is a social media platform right so we have to have socialization and friends and all that kind of stuff. All right. So see, there's this little mouth. I'm not the best painter, guys, especially when it comes to, like, faces and all this stuff. I'm not the best. Oh, Kathy, you're sweet. Thank y'all very much. I don't know... I don't know what was said, but I'll go back and see it later. But it's okay. Like I said, my whole life I've been told that I talk too much. But that's okay. Because that's my gift. And I'm not going to let anybody take my gift away. Because it's hard to get on here and talk. I'm in a room by myself. And I'm just talking to this phone. And I'm looking at myself in the phone. And it's um, it can be rather difficult. That's right. If I didn't talk, it wouldn't be fun. Because uh, we learned all about owls and eagles the other night. Look how cute he is. See? His little nose is going to go right there. <laughs> That's the cutest little thing you've ever seen. <laughs> I don't even think I need another coat on his nose. Okay, I'm going to set him over here to dry. If I can prop him up without him blowing off. You had to do your jack-o'-lantern face three times. Well, I'm cheating because I'm looking over here at this one. Oh, he's rolling over. Okay. And um, so I kinda, I'm kind of cheating. But, all right. So now I got this little guy who's trying to dry, and I'm going to paint his face. I'm, he's kind of a little wet, but I'm going to paint his face. Let's see. I'm trying to find a good side. That side's got a dent. <laughs> yeah, it's a good quality to have, I guess. It depends on who you ask. I guess the people that don't have that quality don't like it, maybe. So all I did was use the stem as his nose. And you could use a little stick or whatever you wanted to do if you didn't want to do... Um, leave that stem, but I thought it just added cute to it. I didn't want to use the, um, the branch because I just, I don't know, it just threw it off to me and I was scared it would fall over in the pumpkin because it's, um, it's hollow on the inside. And that, low in me, I would make my hole too big and it would just fall over in there. So y'all are going to see I'm not the best at, um, drawing faces and all that kind of stuff but that's okay you know when you carve a pumpkin it don't look perfect anyway so there's his little eyes Sharice you only have one of those orange pumpkins my gosh I've got a whole bunch let's see how I do his mouth I'm trying to do it just like that one because I can't remember if I looked at one or something when I did these mouths I 
I'm just not going to read. <laughs> that was probably the best thing not to read. I'm talking and doing the craft at the same time, but I, you know, it's okay. <laughs> See, I'm sh trying not to shut down and I'm shutting down, but I'm trying not to. But it's okay. Oh, your sweet is the only thing you can change is to do more of them. I'm, I'm trying, guys, because I'm trying to get caught up because, you know, this is a big time of the year. There's his little face. And you can do your faces any way you choose, okay? So, here's this one. So, he's going to be like this, and this one's going to sit on top. Aren't they going to be the cutest little things? All right, let's see if I can get this one to dry as fast as that one dried. Because now we got to paint on the black pumpkin. Yeah, I know. I, I do. I need somebody to monitor while I'm crafting, but... Um, it is what it is. Put a bubble and blow it away. <laughs> Alexis, you're so funny. Yes, Carol, I, I don't know how to be anything but me, so I'm going to be me. Because everybody's not my people. But it's okay. I'm just putting, I'm putting some, woo, white Waverly paint out and I'm gonna paint the the nose and eyes and stuff on this one white because he's it's a black pumpkin so we're gonna paint them white oh I can't see my face over here got him all covered up let me find a paintbrush okay y'all are sweet okay so let's see I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna go different I'm gonna paint him some round eyes I think just made like a little, see, it's not even a perfect circle. I wish I, I can't, Bobby, I can't either. I have to look at something or, I don't know. I'm just not good at faces. Even it's just circles, but something about pumpkins, I don't know. I just can't do it. Let's see what his nose is going to look like. I'm going to stick my tongue out in a minute, and y'all are going to laugh because I got my tongue out. See? <laughs> and you can do them any way you wanted. And your kids could do these. Um, he's not turning out as good as I wanted him to. Because I'm trying to think how his mouth needs to be. Got to make him some teeth. This is harder than it looks. Whew. That's right. That's how you get to know me, by talking. Oh, his teeth, y'all. He looks like he's got rotten teeth. <laughs> y'all don't laugh at my face because he is not turning out the way I wanted him to. <laughs> It kind of looks like a skull face or something. Okay. So, yeah. I'm not shutting down. I'm good. I've heard it all my life, so I'm good. Yeah, I could always turn it around and do the other side, right, Kaylee? Because the other side's going to be to the wall or something. Okay, so now we got to let him dry. And here comes the fun part is stacking these little things together. Y'all, I got that brown paint on me. Look, it went everywhere. All over. I'll probably find it in my hair. What color is this small one? I'll miss it. Um, it's Maze, uh, Waverly Maze. See how pretty he is with his little face? Okay, so this is where the hard part comes in. So I'm hoping this turns out. Bamboo, ske bamboo skewers is what we're going to use to try to attach these things together. I'm going to put all my paintbrushes in the water before they get all stiff. Y'all ever let y'all's paintbrushes get stiff? Okay, so this is how I want it to be. 
And typically I would hot glue them down, but you know what hot glue is gonna do to this styrofoam? It's just gonna go and melt. So we're going to, okay, let me get him centered. This is the fun part, because it's like, what do I do first? Do I make sure I got him, got him, let me turn it around and look at it this way. How about that? Like this. Okay. I'm just going to go straight through, guys, because see, they're hollow on the inside. just thought of something. That may not have been the best idea because I'm going to go through the center because that little pumpkin's not going to be sitting on the side. He's going to be sitting in the center. So I'm hoping. Okay, look at that. Ooh, there he is. Da, da, da. <laughs> Success. But we're going to see what this is going to do. Now this one's got it's got that coating on it. I don't know, that plastic coating over the styrofoam. So I think I'm going to like make a little hole in the bottom. So I won't, it's like a plastic something on the outside of the pumpkin. This one came from Walmart. See how she made a little hole? See, it's got that plasticky stuff and then it has the styrofoam in the center. Okay, so I know y'all are gonna, let's see, I wonder how far that's gonna stick up. I should be okay. If it comes out the top, oh well, I'm gonna stick a bow on it. <laughs> if it comes out the top. Okay, look at there. There he is. Ta -da! Now, like I said, it's not something that you wanna just, uh, carry around the house or your kids carry around the house, but just to sit somewhere <laughs> to make it look cute. Okay, so now I'm gonna add a little something something to them because they look just kind of plain. So we're gonna add, I've got a bunch of my Dollar Tree um, foliage over here. Um, this is that little it says pump, pumpkin filler is what it says. And it has the leaves and then the little pumpkins that are dangling off. And I'm going to take the leaves off and we're going to use these. I'll use the pumpkins for something else. Um, so we are going to, let's see, I'm going to trim off the end and my paper. Y'all can see my little fan, which I can turn off now, is blowing my paper that I had my pumpkins sitting on all over the place. So I'm just going to try to, I'm gonna put some hot glue on there and we're gonna see what happens. And y'all are saying, it's gonna melt, fool, it's gonna melt. I'm gonna let it cool off a second before I go poking it under there. I'm gonna raise him up and just stick him under there just enough to, so that leaf will stay where I want it to stay. Hold it down. I know, isn't it so cute? And I know y'all have some of these pumpkins. Oh, I gotta paint the, the back side of that pumpkin. Y'all see? <laughs> see, look, I'm gonna poke a leaf out of there. And we're gonna do the same thing down here. I think I'll put two down at the bottom. Mm, let's I'll tell you what, let's do this. Let's take this little sunflower leaf off and I'll use it at the bottom so I'll have a leaf for the top. Take the plastic part off and I'm just taking this is just some leaves off of this little sunflower deal thing and it looks like this and I'm just basically going to fold it in half and it'll just kind of look like little leaves sticking out and I'm going to put it with this one like that see if I can't get it to stay but yeah this is just something that you want to sit somewhere definitely not to be moved around a lot because they are hollow and so therefore it doesn't um the skewer's just basically holding them together. They're not even attached. Oh, I meant to put that on the other side. Move, move, move. Put my glue dries. Let's see if I can get it to stay. 
I'm gonna put some glue down here and see what happens. I wonder if it'll melt too bad. Y'all think it'll melt too bad? Have y'all tried to put hot glue on them? Spanish moss for fillers from the Dollar Tree. Yeah, I've seen put the Spanish moss in between there. Y'all, that stuff is a nightmare to work with too. <laughs> it gets everywhere. Okay. Okay, I stuck some hot glue on my pumpkin. I don't know. It's not melting bad, but I got strings everywhere. Look how stinking cute that is. Get it to lay down. See if I can get it to lay down. It's not melting it too bad, like I thought it would. Oh, E6000, will it melt it? I know spray paint will melt them too. Don't try to spray paint them. Because it'll just... They'll be like the Wicked Witch of the West. And they'll just... Woo! <laughs> Been there, done that. Don't do it. <laughs> they are smiling at it. Aren't they happy pumpkins? That's what I like is the happy pumpkins. Look, he's even kind of corking to the side a little bit. E6000. So E6000, it will melt them, I guess. Okay. So let's, um, so up here, Alexis, this is for you because I'm using some, um, some of the raffia that I've tamed it a little bit before. If y'all don't follow Alexis with Purposeful Indulgence, I, I shared her video last night to the page. Um, if y'all get raffia rage, like I do and she does, and this, uh, yes, Alexis, it follows right behind the Spanish moss. Uh, right behind the raffia. This right here gives me anxiety. That this stuff. <coughs> when I get it out of the bag, it's like. Pfft. So what Alexis does is she takes a little mini flatten iron that you flatten your hair with, and she takes it out and she runs that bad that bad boy over that raffia and straightens it out like that. <laughs> Maybe black dots in the white. Now, I was thinking that too, Jerry, because he kind of looks a little. Um, he looks like a little day in the eyes, doesn't he? <laughs> you love my humor. It's so funny. Okay, so I'm just going to tie me a little bundle of raffia, and we're going to put it on the top of this little guy up here, and I'll put some black in that other one's eyes to make him look a little bit, a little more alive or something. Sometimes you just think you're finished, and then you're just like, oh, it needs something. Oh, Mary, you got some stuff from Nashville Wraps? Yes, I love them. I was going to use this from Nashville Wraps, but he was going to cover up the pumpkin, so they have the best stuff, though. I'm melting, I'm melting, yep. So I'm going to put my leaf up here. I'm going to do like Carol does now. Carol plays Beauty Shop, and my leaf is coming off down here for some reason. And she won't let you see the finished product. That's why I tell her she's a beautician, because she... She turns it around like this, and she won't, she'll turn it around at that. Um, oh, good, Pat. You watched her? Yes, she has some brilliant ideas. She's got me wanting to go to Sherwin-Williams, and that's dangerous because I'll buy all the paint and all the colors, 9,000 colors they have. I want every color they have because I like them all. Yeah, the Spanish moss is from the devil. That's why I have to have this, this little handy-dandy tabletop vacuum. Because when I use that Spanish moss, oh my lord, no, no, no. Let me put my little leaf. I think I'm going to make his little leaf. Maybe go that way. Make it stick up. Okay, I'm going to turn it around so y'all can see. It looks like he's got hair. <laughs> so that one needs to go. I'm going to make his this leaf kind of stick up, or I'm going to attempt to. And watch that hot glue probably melt right through that pumpkin. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe I can get it to stay like that. I kind of want it to stick up. Thank y'all for sprinkling. And I'm going to post too, um, when I did the last Friday night, when I did the um, my 10,000 giveaway thing, I still got a post of who won the um, the things that I was going to go back on videos and do, and then who won the tiered tray set for, for sprinkling. So I got to post that tomorrow. Oh, Sheila, I, I think I actually saw this somewhere, Sheila, and I just kind of said, I want to do that myself. So, um, and I know all of y'all that go to the Dollar Tree have these pumpkins because you just have to go to the Dollar Tree and you just have to pick up one or two every time you go because, you know, you might see somebody do something cute with it and then you got to do it too. 
Well, here you go. There'll be, they'll be all over the whole group page. Um, tomorrow, I'll get up in the morning and see them. Somebody be working on them all night. And I'm like, oh my gosh, look at the little pumpkins. All right, I'm gonna put some black dots in his eyes or something, because he looks... I'm just squirting it out over here on my paper. If I can find where the hole is. There it is. I don't need much. The 11th envelopes was what the reason was for 11. Um, I did t I just did 10 Dollar Tree um, gift cards. And then I did a Hobby Lobby. So it really wasn't a, anything to do with the 11. Um, trying to figure out how to do his eyes. Um... So nothing in particular. I was just doing tens, and then I said, "Oh, I want to do a Hobby Lobby one too." Glue the leaf to the back of the stand to stand it up. Okay, it fell. It must have fell down. That kind of made him look like a cartoon. Let me fix his teeth while I'm painting black. Give him some. He don't have any. <laughs> he's got some jacked up teeth. <laughs> Okay, does he look better now? He looks better, doesn't he? <laughs> Them circles just wasn't cutting it. Okay, so put the leaf like that, where it sticks up. Let me turn it so y'all can see it. He's a leaner. The top, the top guy, he's a leaner. Because I poked it up through there, <laughs> lopsided. Look how stinking cute it is. I know y'all are going to make this. Me turning. Well, he, he's actually stuck down. I put some glue under there and he's stuck. Okay, there we go. Get him fixed. You get all the stringy spider webs. It looks like Halloween because there's spider webs everywhere. He's wanting to turn. There we go. Okay. I'm trying to get him straight. Now I'm going to glue his, his rear end down back here or something. We're going to try. He ate caramels. <laughs> he's kind of to the side. Now put a white dot in the eye. He's been eating too much candy corn. This one, yeah, he's to the side. <laughs> he's on, he's had too much sugar. All right, put a white dot down here. See, this would be like if I was quiet. It'd be like dead silence. We can have fun with it. See, your kids could do this. Oh, you're so sweet, Deb. I hope you keep coming back, and I hope you join the group. I have a free group um, where um, everybody shows off their crafts and stuff, and it's a great place, and um, a lot of great, great, talented ladies, and they just shock me every day that I get on there, and I'm like, oh my gosh, look at all this stuff. Look how cute that is, and um, so they inspire me too, so... Um, but it's at, it's pinned at the top of my page. It's the Turquoise Valentine's Crafters Reveal. And you can, it, it's a free group and you can join and you can post your crafts and stuff. And thank you, Becky, for the stars. And you can, um, you can, you know, you can ask questions, what kind of paint you use, what kind of, you know, and everybody's real quick to answer and nice to answer and help you out. And I look at it and I, I try to comment on everybody's posts and it, but it gets kind of hard sometimes. So if I miss you, don't think I'm trying to be, um, ugly by not post my comment on your post, but I love everybody's stuff and it's just th like I'll do something and then they take it to the whole next level and I'm like blown away. Um, so yeah, so you can spend an hour or so going through all the old posts in the group looking at everybody's stuff. It's awesome. And those shim trees, man, people blew those out of the park. They put those little lights in there, the, the lights that I... This kind of lights. They took the shim tree and they put these little lights in the shim tree. And it looks so daggum cute. And I was like, I didn't even think about putting lights on my tree. My pumpkin total pole. <laughs> He's cute. He's going to have to go back here. I'll show you my other one that I did last year. If he doesn't fall apart, I had to go dig for him in the attic. He's still hanging in. Well, he ain't hanging in there because he's coming apart. Uh, I can reach him. Okay. Whoop, he just lost the acorn. <laughs> Here's this one from last year. See, I did this one a little different. But I did put the brown in the grooves of this one, and I didn't do that tonight. 
so I could still go back and do that. <laughs> yeah, I like the leaning one too, Sheila. He's cute. He's like, uh, he's like, okay, I'm hanging on up here. Did I ever receive happy mail? Helen, yes, I did. I got the calendars. Thank you very much. You probably wasn't on here the night that I, um, the night that I got them and I opened them live. So yes, I did. Thank you very much for the calendars. That was sweet of you. The off white, is it plaster? Uh, no, I just used the regular white on the black pumpkin. Yes, Judy, those would be good gifts to do the shim trees for Christmas. Yes. I, there's a lady on here, um, and she's making them and selling them. And so, yes. And I've got the big shims, and I cannot wait to make trees out of that. That's going to be a big project because those things are this long, and that tree is going to be, it's going to be tall, but I'm going to put them by my fireplace, I think. Yeah, I like the brown accents, too, and I have the brown paint out here to do it. I just didn't for whatever reason. Didn't even think about it. But he looks cute, but I can go back and do it. I can go back and do it. So now I have two, but this one will probably go back here in the back. But yeah, I might do that when I get off and put the brown. I just probably water some brown paint down and just kind of paint in the grooves. I didn't even think about it till I, till I just looked at that one and said, oh, that one's got brown on it. But he's so cute. Look, I like his little leaf sticking up. But let me tell y'all something else. I see a snowman. I know that um, you're good, Paige. Um, some people take these and they do a snowman. That would be so stinking cute, would it not? Put a little, a little stocking hat on him. He'd be cute. They would be so cute. Had to put the yes, Bobby. Absolutely. But there's another lady on here, and she's selling those trees. And they're not expensive to make. That's the thing. You can one pack of shims is like what two forty nine or something, and you can make one tree with one pack. So yeah. Um, Nancy, it's back. It's in July. Um, if you'll message me, or either you can go to my page and go to the videos. It was in July. Um, it has the title is something to do with a Christmas tree because I had to look it up for somebody else yesterday. Um. So, um, it says, let's make a Christmas tree. I can't remember, but it's, it's something to do with a tree in the title of the video. Yes, it would be cute for a snowman. You could do them. I've seen them do them this way, like, you know, see, I've got more. But, you know, do them like this for a snowman. I've, I've seen that done. But it would look cute even if you did them this way for the snowman and turned it on its side and did three you know, this way. And then do his little nose and all just like this. Wouldn't that be cute? <laughs> oh, well, that's good, Pat. See, those are make good, good gifts. And I mean, that's something that you just can't go out and buy because you made it. Yes, Cindy, I do. I did it back in, we did Christmas in July. And um, we I did it then. It was uh, right around the 1st of July. Yes, Holly, the snowman would be stinking cute. Probably take about three coats of that white paint to cover up that neon orange. I'm having a big sale this weekend. Keep your fingers crossed. Oh, good, Shani. Shawnee. I hope you do good. Is it like a craft fair? Your shims for $1.59 a pack. Ooh, that's awesome. I actually found some at Goodwill for $0.99 cents a pack, and you know I snatched them up. <laughs> Yes, Nancy, go watch it. It was in July, and it says something about a tree in the title. That's something. My community group. Um, Tarita, it is, if you type in, or either go to this page, my the Turquoise Valentine, and it's pinned at the top of my page. It's the Turquoise Valentine's Crafters Reveal is the name of the page. And um, it'll just ask you, do you follow this page? And you just put yes, and it'll let you in the group. Or either I, you know, have to go preview, whatever. But, um, but yeah, there's lots of talented ladies in there. And it's a good place to be. And just, you know, it's a very positive group. 
and um, we had a lady, y'all will get teary out again, a lady that had her mom was, um, has, you know, terminal cancer, and she was asking everybody for prayers, and it was like 200 and something comments, and it just blew me away, and I just, it just made me tear up and cry because, you know, such a great group of people, and I never, ever dreamed it could be like this, ever. I mean, it exceeds what I even thought it could be. Um, I think it says, let's make a tree. Yes, Penny, thank you. It does say that. It says, let's make a tree. Because I had to look it up yesterday for someone else that messaged me and asked me where it was. And, uh, yes, let's DIY, DIY a tree, yes. Yes, they have, and I don't think the shims are going to run out, guys. I was at Home Depot, and they had these massive boxes of shims. So, that must be something that builders and stuff use, like, all the time. I know they put them in, like, a door frame, and they break them off or something to wedge it in. I don't know. My husband tried to tell me, and I was like, oh, okay. But then I have, y'all got to see these. Don't accidentally buy these and go, my gosh, did she make a tree out of these? Look at these shims. <laughs> I need to do the shim the big shim tree. Lord, I couldn't get it on camera. This is this is how tall one is. That tree's gonna be it's gonna be three foot tall. But somebody in the group has already done it a big one, the big tree. And um I don't remember who it was. Goodness draws goodness, yeah. Um, yes, let's DIY a tree. Thank you, Nancy. Yeah, that's what it's called. So you'll have to go back and watch it. But these are some... <laughs> I don't even know. Let's just see how big they are. So don't, don't go to the store and see these things and go, Oh my gosh, she made them out of this? No, I made it out of the little ones. These are 15 inches tall. That's some big shims. This is how big the ones I did are. So this is the normal size. And then this is the, this is the big ones. <laughs> I don't even know how much they are, but this is the big professional contractor shims. Do it outside. Oh good, Linda, you're getting a 511 Corinth. Oh, gosh, don't get Nancy to, to talking about five below. She's going to shoot me already because she don't have a five below, and I always talk about the paintbrushes. And I've got uh, Alexis liking those paintbrushes, too, from five below. <laughs> I promise I'm going to get some. Get the deck and keep the post straight. Is that what they're for? Them are some, them some big door frames if they're using those big ones on door frames. Can you show the blessed this? That? Yes, Crystal, you you did the big tree. I couldn't remember who it was, but so it's in the group. If you like go to the top of the group page and search, you can probably type in tree and all the tree posts that has tree in it will, will come up. So if you want to see the big one. Yes, Jenny, that's going to take a lot of hot glue for that, for that tree. <laughs> Yeah, Crystal, how tall was the tree? The big tree. And you can make it taller depending on how you how you put the shims together. You can make it, you know, depending on how, how you slide the shims, you know, like, like this. Like, like you could do the shims this way or you could extend it out and then glue them. So it could probably be, it could probably, <laughs> Nancy, don't shoot me. Um, the sunflower in the polka dotted pot. Oh, that's not a, um, it's not a, a live as of yet. I painted that like last year with a palette knife and I just prop it up there because it's turquoise and I love the picture. So y'all get to look at it too. But I'll have to, everybody's want me to do the sunflowers live. I need to do it. I need to either do it pre-recorded so I can film overhead while I'm doing it. Yes, Brenda, I can't find any more either to make a white one. I'm waiting for Crystal to say um, how tall her tree was. She's probably ran off to measure the tree. Y'all think she went to measure the tree? 
Why does it, it does have a crack in the middle. This one, yeah, see, I guess it's two pieces and they sandwich it together. This one has it too. You just can't see it as well. But yeah, they look like, see, they have a crack all the way around them. I guess it's two pieces and they stick them together. It says she used them to paint with. Okay. See, that one's got a, that one's got a crack in it too. All the way around. I guess you just see it more on that one. I tried to pick the best one of the ones I have, but yeah, he's got a little crack. It's the seam, yes. Okay, did did she tell did she see how much um did she say how tall her tree was? That's what I was waiting on. I didn't see it. No, you don't have to have the foam board for it to stand. It stands by itself. Um, oh, it's three feet. Oh my gosh, y'all. <laughs> that's, that's pretty, that's pretty tall. Um, no, the foam board is just so I could put a backing on it where I could put the scrapbook paper where it would show through. But you could definitely leave it open and like hang ornaments inside of it or something. That would be pretty too. Oh, thank you, Glenda. Three foot. Y'all, that's a big tree. <laughs> Out of some shims. <laughs> the crack is his facial ring. Yeah, that's just his character lines. He's just got some, he's just got some little character lines like the Joker, see? <laughs> well, it goes across his nose. <laughs> Fix his nose. There we go. We could turn it like that. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, I am fixing to hop on. I could stay on here all night and talk to y'all. Y'all are so much fun. Y'all get my humor. <laughs> So, I hope y'all try this. I know y'all will. And I, I'm going to see some turquoise pumpkins in that group. I know it. And I should have painted one of these turquoise, but I didn't. I just kept with the, the fall theme. Yeah, I could fix that scene with my caulk. I sure could. I just run it around there and paint it. <laughs> Hey, we're going to we're gonna do a live tomorrow night now, guys. We're going to be on tomorrow night at 730 again. And I'm probably going to be using clay. The cl same clay that we did the gnomes with. We're going to make some cuties with some clay. You hot glued your material on yours. Yeah, that'd be cute too. Yes, three foot is a big tree. I mean, for what? Five, somebody said those packs were $5. For $5? That's a, that's a three foot tree. Night, Heather. All right, guys, I'm getting off, and I will see y'all tomorrow night, 730, and I will post when I'm going to put the tear tray stuff out and stop back in my shop, okay? I will post it, and I'll let y'all know. Thank y'all for watching, guys. See you later. Night.